Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can speed up Word the way you work with Word by using simple key commands. So on the screen, I've got a blank document and I'm going to point out a few obvious key commands that most people know about and then show you how you can add additional key commands that suit what you want to do in Word. So when you point to most of these features on the ribbon, the key command, if there is one, is highlighted underneath like these, Control I, Control B, Control U. Those are the key commands that will activate those features. You come across to the subscript, you've got Control plus equals, and then superscript, Control Shift plus, plus, plus to plus. So most of them have key commands allocated already. Some things don't. If you record a macro, for example, you can record a macro and allocate a key command. But you might want to um, look at these sort of features that's on the ribbon and select things like this and allocate a key command. So I'm not going to allocate a key command to that. But what you can do is go into Word options and customize the ribbon and there you'll find a tool to help you either edit or add to or create key command shortcuts. So to get into Word options, there's a few different ways we could do it. If you sort of right click on any of these tabs, you can click on customize ribbon and it will take you there. You can go through this option on the quick access toolbar and go to more commands. That's to do with the quick access toolbar, but you've got customized ribbon there. So just come, come out of this. Or you can go file, options, and then customize ribbon. Wherever you go, this is what you need. This option. Down the bottom of it, you've got keyboard shortcuts. You click on customize. And then what you've got is all these options. Some of them, if they've got a key command, it will be listed here. So if I go into the insert tab, for example, insert chart, alt plus a letter L will insert a chart. And then alt H chart two, insert an Excel table, etc. Hyperlink is control K. That's quite a common one. And as you come down this list, you can see that there are lots and lots of different options there. Text to table. Now if I come down to the home tab, and that is bold, two different commands for bold. Border, I use that all the time. I've actually got it on my quick access toolbar on my work machine, it's not on this one, but I normally put it up there, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But basically, all borders hasn't been allocated a key command. So what you, what you have to do is Select, select this box and then do the key command. Now, if it's already allocated, it will come up and tell you it's already allocated. So I'll try one that's already allocated, Alt-L, and it says there, look, currently assigned to insert chart. So I can't have that one. Now I'm going to go for, so it's borders, try Alt-B, see what happens there. I don't want LB, so let's get rid of it. Alt-B. So according to this, it's unassigned, so I can assign this key command for borders, all borders. So if I click assign, Alt B, remember, I'll just close this now and OK that. And now if I just type some text, got some auto text in there. And then if I want a border on it, if I just, I'll just highlight the whole thing and try Alt B, you can see there it puts the border around that, which is great, that's what I want. Now you can also add things up onto the quick access toolbar. So I'll do that right now while I'm here. So if I want that all borders to be up there, I can just simply select it. Now it's got the key command I've done, look. Right click and then I can add it to the quick access toolbar. And then it goes up there with all the borders. So the whole gallery went up there. If you don't want it, you can just right click on it and remove it. So this is a tool, toolbar, it's one of the few things that's still called a toolbar, that you can populate with things that you commonly use and you don't 
quite remember where they're, where they're at. So for example, if I'm on the review tab and I want to do borders, without having borders up there, I would have to go back to home to get borders or remember the key command. That's why you do a key command. So if I'm on, if I do some more text down here, type in true again, because that's my auto text stuff. I want all borders on that. If I try Alt, now I've pressed Alt and all this has come up. I held it down too long. I need to do Alt B for borders and then that automatically put it on there. I didn't need to highlight anything. When I held the Alt key down too long, you can see all these numbers come up on the Alt key anyhow. So that's another feature. And then you can just press the letter G, for example, and it went onto that tab and give me these options and you've got the different letters there so you can actually use the keyboard to to select things if your mouse goes pear-shaped or the pad on your laptop suddenly decides it's not going to work usually because you've pressed one of the function keys and you've turned it off like i did many years ago thought the tab uh, the pad was us but it wasn't it was just deselected so that's how you create a key command so i'll just recap the key command to do another one so i'm going to right click on any tab go into customize ribbon Get into keyboard shortcuts, customize, and then you're basically scrolling down to find whatever you want in this list, whichever tab you want, and then you can see what's available in that tab. So if I go to let's go for view, view. what we've got there, let's um we've got navigational pane. That's a good one. So navigational pane hasn't got a key command, so let's try Alt N. Alt N is not assigned so i'm going to assign that close this okay and then do alt n and hey presto the navigation pane comes up which is really useful if you've got a document with heading styles so i'll just do one so you can see what that would look like in the navigation pane so i'll go for a heading style one as soon as i do that it starts appearing there just type steve no not steve i'll do intro because I have to do introduction so that now appears over here and then if I do another one a different um, heading style heading style 2 I'll go part 1 etc etc like that and you just fill it in the structure appears in this navigation pane so that was alt n opens up the navigation pane stops me having to go view and tick so all these little features that you want on it's quite useful to be able to put key commands on them if you're doing it all the time and then just hit the keyboard, bang the feature onto the screen very quick. So that's all I want to talk about on this little video, how to allocate key commands yourself, how to use key commands, how to add things to the quick access toolbar, how to customize the ribbon if you need to do that as well. So hopefully it's been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.